Are the Atlanta Hawks clearing house, starting over, burning everything down to rebuild and trading their two point guards? Apparently, Bill Simmons believes so. Now, before I get into Bill Simmons, let me read you exactly what he said. Now, on his podcast, he was talking, he was feeling good, and he essentially said, in quotes, some people seem to think that both of those guys are getting traded is a thing that I've heard. And he talks about the over-under and blah, 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 whatever. End quote. He's referring to Trey Young and DeJounte Murray both getting traded in the Atlanta Hawks, basically starting over for Jalen Johnson, drafting someone for the number one overall pick, and just going from there, rebuilding the whole roster. Now to this, I would say Bill Simmons... It's probably not a credible source. And from day one, he has not liked the Atlanta Hawks for some reason. He's always talked about the Luka trade trade and how it's the worst trade in history. And regardless of what you feel about Luka or Trey, Trey is an all-star. So I don't get how one player from another player is a worse trade when they're both all-stars. Now, Luka's an all-NBA player. That's fine. And Trey, but like there have been worse trades. We'll start there. But for Bill Simmons to come out and say, hey, they're trading both of their players, I don't know if there's much validity to that, and I would not trust Bill Simmons going forward because he just don't like Atlanta. Now, on the reverse side, and I'm just playing devil, devil's advocate here, what if he may be right? And this is just me playing devil's advocate. And the reason I say that is because I'm kind of worried in our ownership group. They talk about year over year, we can go into a luxury tax. We want to invest. We want to spend money. We want to win games. We want to win championships. We don't worry about the price. Get players. And year after year, we see them dip below the luxury tax. We've seen them find ways to save money so they don't have, have to play players. We see them not go out and get free agents. And to me, I'm saying, what are they doing? They're talking one game and they're walking another game. Now, like I said earlier, Bill Simmons does not like Atlanta and I would not trust any validity to the statement. But I'm starting to get worried because of the Atlanta Hawks to date have not done anything. I haven't heard anything from their camp. Beat writers don't know. You turn on TV, you turn on mock drafts. News analysts have no idea who they're going to draft. Nobody knows nothing with Atlanta. And this could be two things. Number one, Landry Fields is a genius and he's playing close to the chest and he has his ultimate plan. Or two, he's not really calling the shots. Big guy, Tony Wrestler's calling the shots, and they have no idea what they're doing. And to be honest, if Tony may be calling the shots, there may be an avenue where they're thinking, should we trade both players and start over? Because I'm not hearing anything from anyone. You go to the internet, you turn on the TV, where do you hear about the Atlanta potential traits? You hear nothing. What do you hear about who Atlanta is selecting? You hear someone differently every week. So to me, as an Atlanta Hawks fan, I'm very worried. Now, would I trade both of those players? Absolutely not. You talk about both very good, talented guards, and we're just going to start over and maybe potentially get a guy that could be that player in the future with no uncertainty? And just go Jalen Johnson. But I'm worried. I will say that. As an Atlanta fan, we all know that the Atlanta sports teams have a tendency to really just mess things up. There are a couple of paths and avenues for the Atlanta Hawks to truly be really good. And the fact that it's coming out saying they could trade both players is really kind of worrisome. 
Like I said, it's Bill Simmons. No validity. But what if just this one time, he may have heard something. And the reason why I'm saying maybe he could have maybe potentially heard something is because nobody on the world has heard anything about what the Atlanta Hawks are doing. Now, I hope that they are building a roster and they have a plan up on the whiteboard or they're starting to develop a plan because draft is three weeks out. The finals could be done in a week. It's, start, it's, starting, it's time to get things together because after the draft, it's free agency and you have to make moves. If you don't make moves early enough, you lose players. And I would just, I hope that Landry Fields is sitting there laughing at all of us talking. He's like, I got this. Because on the flip side, I'm worried they could be trading their two best players for future draft picks and just just praying they'll get lucky on the next star. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos like this, check this one out where I kind of highlight my four moves to make the Atlanta Hawks All-Stars, a.k.a. champions, not All-Stars, champions. And like always, peace.